Aditya Mazumdar is a grade nine student who feels very strongly about how bias plays into the media and how social media plays into our exposure to the news. Please welcome Adi to the stage. Hi, good evening. Uh, it seems that every few weeks we hear about like some sort of new mass shooting or uh, terrorist attack. You may remember recently stories about two mass shootings in the United States, one being in California and one being in Colorado in the space of just a week. In the case of the Colorado shooting, uh, right-wing extremists walked into a Planned Parenthood uh, abortion clinic where he killed three people and wounded nine others. In the California shooting, a Muslim couple that claimed to support the terrorist organization ISIS killed 14 people and wounded 22 others. What do you remember about the news coverage of these stories? In the reporting of the California shooting, it was treated extensively as a case of Islamic terrorism in the United States, and sensationalist reporting led to fears that, uh, that Muslims might be a homegrown threat in the country to be feared. In the case of the Colorado shooting, uh, various euphemisms were used to describe the event, such as a politically motivated shooting or, a, or just a lone fanatic, but certainly not as terrorism. In psychology, confirmation bias is the tendency to search for or interpret information in a way that confirms uh, your already existing preconceptions. Uh, my point today is that uh, our consumption of the news in the era of social media and sensationalism is heavily affected by confirmation bias. Why do I say that? Although the California shooting was indeed a terrorist attack, by the way, like, uh, it happened, uh, so was the Colorado shooting, and any number of right-wing attacks in the United States that have killed more people than Islamic terrorists, and yet these are very rarely considered terrorist attacks. Another example of confirmation bias was in Cologne, after, uh, uh, after many women on, uh, at the New Year's Eve celebrations were sexually assaulted or mugged, reportedly by Arab or North African men. Initially, there were accusations of some sort of a cover-up in the media. Afterwards, the news went to the other extreme with outrageous sensationalist reports of a so-called Muslim rape epidemic, and, that, and those words were actually used in uh, Germany, which led to the fueling of uh, anti-immigration rallies and violence. More, moreover, it's hard to know exactly what is true and what isn't. According to a recently published report, the chief of police in Cologne confirmed that the assaults were not organized. However, according to uh, another, uh, another outlet, uh, the chief of police said the opposite, so you can't actually know which one was true and which one wasn't. Uh, in any case, there has been an increase in violence against uh, migrants and refugees, and countries have become more willing to deport these uh, migrants or, and refugees to dangerous countries. Even Angela Merkel's own CDU party made a surprisingly harsh proposal to deport 1,000 immigrants daily. Another effect of confirmation bias is what's known as polarization, in which people's views tend to go towards the extremes, whether or not they are political. For example, in the United States, neither the left nor the right wing have seen the success that they see now since the Civil War. Even as recently as the 2012 U.S. presidential elections, uh, campaigners and politicians were, mo were a lot more moderate than they are now. In this era of globalization, with an increasing mixer, uh, mixture of culture and people, we cannot afford to be misinformed and intolerant. Some people want to, uh, some people want to uh, stop this uh, process of, uh, of uh, mixing or control it more. But uh, this is our new reality. And in this reality, confirmation bias is not only spreading wrong information, it is also dangerous. 
In order to better like, cope with and integrate into this new global society, we must challenge ourselves to go beyond our own uh, comfort zones and biases. Thank you.